reaching out to people. I'm going to be dealing with different aspects of my past and my part of my testimony. I've given my testimony a couple times on my YouTube channel, but I just want to use this opportunity to reach out to a very specific target group that I, of, of former friends and people that I've known and like-minded people that have been in my situation with, with different areas of my testimony. That, that area is a issue of, um, of me working in the a strip club in the adult entertainment industry. I wasn't a part of it too long, but from the from the moment I was there until the moment I left, telling my boss I could no longer uh, work in a strip club, that specific strip club in San Francisco, uh, it, is, it has affected me for the last 12 years. And what not in the way that most people would think, a lot of guys would think, oh, you know, he's in his mind going back to the past or anything, but more so of the hurt and the loss that the women have gone through, particularly with um, my coworkers, the ones that, that uh, I worked with temporarily, uh, that the um, low self-esteem issues that they've had, they've dealt with, the um, basically degradation by the customers, the so-called customers, the, the men that would frequent the strip clubs, the taking the lap dances, all the stuff that goes on in those type of environments. Which they call them, they call themselves exotic dancers, so that they don't have to fess up to the fact that they're stripping and taking, taking out their clothes for men so they can give them money for either for whatever. Some are for college, some are for doing it for to take care of their kid or the kids that they have. Um, some of them have drug addiction problems that they try to not tell the managers or try not to see, which of course they're purposely not seeing for a reason so that, but I know a lot of clubs, so, uh, especially specifically the one I worked in, uh, they, they didn't allow drug use that was known, that was seen. Uh, what I want to pray for right now is the fact that I had I, in any kind of way been in contact with you uh, when you were stripping, if I was a customer or if I was the DJ in the strip club, I'm praying for you right now. You guys don't know it, but for the last 12 years I've been praying for both the managers, the workers, the men in the club, as well as the women in the club, the ones that had to take the, the front of the degradation. Um, so I know a lot of girls that, were, that I've worked with there, they, they didn't feel like they were taking off their clothes, but they were taking off their soul. They were naked in the physical, but they felt they ran the game, that they ran things when they were, when the men were raining down the, the bills out of the money out of them. But I'm going to tell you with all honesty, this is with my perspective of me working with you guys, with you ladies. Um, yeah. What happened is, you might have the money, but there's someone that really wants to see you, that really cares for you. There's somebody that, that's there, and I, you probably see my other videos, is Jesus, Jesus Christ. But, um, what we can do is that, what I can do is pray for you. There's a lot of things, for those that have, have known me, those are for very specific girls, women now, it's been over 12 years, that have known me in the past. I'm no longer that individual. Um, or if I've said anything to, to hurt you, if I've done anything to wrong you, I apologize right now. Um, I was a different person back then. This is over 12 years ago, but still it haunts me. It probably will haunt me to the day I die because of, because of I was a jerk. Now, um, I'm going to close my eyes and pray for you guys right now. Father God, for all the dancers and strippers, 
or whatever you want to call yourself. I don't know where you're at right now, but I ask the Holy Spirit to anoint, anoint you and deal with your heart. That you give your life over to Jesus if you haven't done so already. Maybe you gave your life already to Christ seven years ago, five years ago, two years ago, and you're ashamed. I want to tell you, the Bible says there is no shame. There's only love. God loves us. The Bible says, for God to love the world, He gave His only begotten Son. That whoever believes in Him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. He will give beauty for ashes. Now, if you ask Jesus into your heart, you confess with your mouth and believe in your heart that He died for your sins. He's done that already. And for my sisters and for my brothers who I've worked with in the past, who I've dealt with in the past, that have given their life over to God, stay strong. Because if you don't stay strong, there's people that have watched you when you were at your lowest point that were hurting. And if you go back to those ways, if you go back to that situation, if you go back to the ugliness, they're going to say, look, she couldn't make it. He couldn't make it. Look, they're going to go back, and the box says it goes back seven times worse. What, uh, what I do want to stress to you is that God loves you so much, so very much. He's done anything. He's done the ultimate thing, not anything, but the ultimate thing. And I would give His Son freely as a gift to make us not have that shame anymore. So, this is your friend Sam, and until next time, God bless you.